Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Fern Valley Farm. Previously, Fern Valley Honeybees. I just changed the name of the vid I just changed the name of the YouTube channel to Fern Valley Farm. That's the name of my place, just to uh, expand the uh, video, just to expand the videos a little bit. I don't, I don't want to strictly keep it to uh, beekeeping only anymore. I wanted to expand a little bit here. I'm wearing, I'm putting this on here. Um, so anyway, what we're doing today is we're getting ready for winter. I am going to put my insulated winter co inner covers on to help prevent moisture. Remember, you remember, uh, cold won't kill your bees, moisture will. What happens is the bees get so much in the middle of winter, there's so much heat inside there from their, you know, the, the, the heat that they produce. If you get frost on the inside, what happens is you get a nice sunny day in maybe January, December, all that condensation thaws, drips on the bees and kills them. It's that simple. So you want to prevent the condensation in your hive. You want to insulate it. You want to have vent holes so the bees can, so the air can get out of the hive. So like I said, if they, when they build up all that heat in there, you won't get condensation built up on the inside. The inside of this roof has half-inch insulation. I'll show you here in a minute. Um, and then what I built, what I did here, um, I've got what I call a screen candy board. I made a video on this. I'm going to make sugar candy, sugar cakes in the middle of winter here just to give them a little bit extra feed. These, five, these hives were fed up pretty well. Um, this hive, if I weight it correctly, I'm going to redo that because I made a, I've got another way of doing this. It was almost 185 pounds. Subtract the weight of all the boxes, which come out to about 150 something. But I'll do another video on that. I didn't like the way that came out. What I built here was a screen. I'm calling this a screen candy board. Like I said, go watch the video. Uh, one by fours quarter inch mesh on the bottom, staple to the inside. I've got an upper entrance that's closed off. I've got number eight hardware cloth stapled to the inside. This way, nothing, no robbers can get in there. Even like now, it's still kind of warm out. Some of the yellow jackets are flying around. I don't want them coming in because they can go right through those holes and get right into the hive. We don't want that. So, but this is designed so the bees can come right up through those holes, eat your sugar candy. If you want to put a pollen patty, whatever in there, and uh, they're good to go. That's good winter maintenance, just in case they run out of food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this cover off. I'm going to put the, the, the sugar candy board on first, and then my insulated covers, which hopefully you all seen the video. I made videos on this too. Same thing, one by four, have inch and a half insulation. I spray foam on the inside, and an inch and a half ventilation hole. On the other side of it is number eight hardware cloth. This hole is bigger because I changed my mind. I was gonna go with a three inch hole or two, whatever size that is, three inch. And I thought, nah, that's almost too much ventilation. I don't want too much heat to escape because when it gets really cold up here, we're in Northern Illinois, where you're at, it's gonna be, depending on what part of the country you're in, will depend on how you wanna do this. But up here, it needs to be warm. So I changed it from that size hole to that size hole. But there's number eight hardware cloth on the inside of that, so the bees can't come through that. Um, this will sit on top of the candy board, uh, the screen candy board. Um, so, anyways, this way there's no there's no condensation can build up inside. Air can escape through the top, come out the ventilation holes. Also, air can escape through the upper entrance. That's really not an upper entrance. It's just a uh, it's an upper entrance, but I've got it screened off. The bees get really angry this time of year. I did, I did one of them already. I'm not gonna, you guys don't need to watch me do all of them, but I'm wearing my veil because they just come at you. <laughs> they just don't like you messing with them right now. I wanna kinda do this early in the morning, early in the day, before they get too active. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, like I said, we're getting ready for winter. So we're gonna pop this off. I've got my hive tool ready. You can see the inside of there. There's inch and a half, or there's half inch insulation there to help prevent condensation. We're gonna pop real carefully here. We're gonna try not to upset them too much. Like I said, they do not like you messing with them. I'm gonna put that right there. Put the screen board on first. Put that on first. Put my insulated cover on. And we're good. 
And that's it. Put this right back on top. I've actually got insulation to wrap these hives with. I already made the video, I showed you guys how I built those. And um, I will do another video when I actually go to put them on when I actually go to put them on the hive. Let's just do another one really quick here while I got the camera rolling. I've got four of them to do. Let me just make sure this camera's pointing in the right direction here. I don't want you guys to miss anything here. Hopefully you're learning something from this. Let me turn it that way a little bit. And here again, this is the way I'm doing it. There's all kinds of ways you can do this stuff. I've watched a lot of different videos, a lot of different ideas on, on different how guys do this stuff different. This is just how I'm doing it. Pull the cover. A lot of bees there. They're all up high here. These guys aren't going to be real happy with me here. What I'm doing is just, I'm just going to leave the inner cover sitting, sitting here on the front. And they can all kind of go back in later. This is really on tight. I am actually going to build... I'm actually going to build different inner covers. Something a little stronger. There's a lot of burr comb in there. Put that on. Hopefully... They really got this comb built up high. I don't got my smoker lit, but I really don't want to. I don't want to crush anybody here. Yeah, they get really angry. They don't like you messing with them. So we're gonna put that there. See what I mean? They just come after you. <laughs> so we're gonna cover this back up, and they'll be good here. Let's leave that. Put the roof back on. And we're good. One more to go here. Might as well let's leave the camera rolling here. This isn't taking too long. This carniola hive, these guys get really mad. I'm not sure what their deal is. Out of all my hives, this is probably about the most aggressive. But you can see they don't like you messing with them. Let me get one more. We'll get this put on. Let's see what the inside of this one looks like. Here again, these roofs are all insulated with plenty of ventilation. Pop this off. Put that there. Ventilation hole in the front. <clears throat> Inner cover for moisture. Put the roof back on. And we're good. I've been meaning to do this the last few days. Because these nights have been getting pretty chilly. Daytime is pretty warm still. Okay, we're good. One, two, three, all even and all in order. Um, it's been getting cold at night. So I've been just getting a little worried, but I wanted to get these things on. Because like I said, moisture won't kill your, or uh, cold won't kill your bees, moisture will. So you want to keep that in mind. So hopefully you guys learned something from this. Remember, insulate your hives. Get something on the inside. Some guys even just take insulation. And just lay it on top. Anything to put like for a moisture barrier to help prevent condensation from building up inside there. I've seen some guys with the flat roofs. They just put a sheet of insulation on top. And that seems to work, I guess. Um, this is just the way I'm doing it. There's, and nobody says exactly you have to do it this way. But I think this system is pretty good. I've done a lot of research. Watch a lot of different guys who keep a lot of bees. Especially up in, cold, up in, uh, in colder climates where it's a lot colder than here. And this is kind of how they're doing it. So hopefully this will work. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, so anyways, hopefully you like something. Please subscribe to the channel. Support it. Give me a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. There's a little bell next to the subscribe button. Click on that bell. You'll get a, notif a notification next time I make a video. Uh, when I go to wrap these hives, check out the video on how I built the wraps. When I go to wrap them, I will come out here and video this so you guys can see me putting those on. Um, those should be really, really effective. I got to cut around these handles still uh, to get them things on. So anyways, you can see I kind of made a lot of bees mad. They'll get over it. 
they'll all go back into their hive. So it's warm out now. That's why I did it now. But when it's really cold, you don't want to open these. If you get like a 45, 50 degree day and it's sunny, okay, go ahead and open it, you know, January. But if not, leave it shut. Don't want all that heat to come out. So anyways, YouTube, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.